During the individual interview, the program is presented and the group leader and the participant get to know each other. The interview takes place after participant recruitment and before the start of the workshops, the community visits, and the media capsules. This part of the workshop manual contains a theoretical section explaining the principles of motivational interviews, an interview grid, and a response scale. As well, these documents can be given to the participants, a memory aid for the program, a personal objective sheet, and a transportation option list. The workshop manual also has a lot more details. So what is the individual interview? First, it is not a selection interview. The participants who were referred should already have the cognitive and social ability that would allow them to participate in the group. The interview is important for two reasons. One, the future participant can meet the group leader and learn more about the program. Some may feel anxious about joining a new group, so you can reassure them and explain the process, the four parts of the program, and what it implies for their participation. Also, the participant can confirm that the program corresponds to their interests. It is important that the interviews are done by the group leader because it helps to establish trust. So try to make sure you have the time to meet all the participants before the first session. Two, the interview helps the group leader better understand the future participants' needs and to help them set a goal. What are the interests of the person in front of you? The interview grid offers a detailed scenario to help the future participant define them for their future visits. They should be encouraged to take advantage of the benefits they can gain from social participation. The interview should take about an hour. Don't forget to print the interview grid so you can refer to it and take notes. Take the needs of each individual into account. Think about how they will get there and the available transportation options. Perhaps the participant would like to be accompanied on their visits, either by a volunteer or yourself. Even if the person has been referred by a health professional, their level of functioning should be taken into account to ensure their integration into the group. A large range of functioning levels between the participants is not necessarily a reason for exclusion, but strategies to accommodate everyone should be identified. Ideally, you will help them set a goal related to community participation, but be flexible. Not all participants will know what interests them at the time of the interview. They could also set their goal during the sessions. If you already know the future group members, the interview could be done in group format to highlight the start of the program and to help all of them define a social participation goal. Running the workshops is the topic of our next video. The Count Me In program is a production of CREGES, the Centre for Research and Expertise in Social Gerontology.